Ships or ship Z? Only you can decide. Find out more at shipz or z.com. everyone. This is Irina bringing you this week's Supply Chain Minute. So as we all know, you know, challenges within the global supply chain market are still ongoing and we see them more and more in the noise that's happening in the semiconductor marketplace. Um, This month, Ford Automotive actually announced that they are curtailing their production significantly through the end of July to be able to continue production in some areas where they need to meet meet commitments, but also be aware of the fact that um, the experience ongoing right now with the shortage in this space is actually expected to continue even through um, the end of this year and potentially into early 2022. Um, The reason being is that mostly 50 to 60 percent of the entire bill of materials for a new vehicle is actually based on electronics that are in need of these semiconductors and so partially assembling a vehicle creates its own set of challenges. We also know that General Motors actually faced a similar challenge because of the global shortage earlier um, this year and they actually shut down their production, some of their production in March of 2021. So what's really happening? Some of the challenges are due to you know global shortages in labor, of course, because of the um, the COVID nineteen pandemic, but also because of other um, you know situations that have happened, such as weather related, as we've seen in Texas, and also a very large fire at a prominent factory in Japan, which created very very large setbacks in an area that was already seeing challenges, which started last year. Um, so again, this is projected to continue certainly through the end of this year. Um, Ford, because of this shutdown in July, is expecting to um, complete about 1.1 million less vehicles in this quarter than they otherwise would have projected. So obviously huge impacts to revenue. Um, But you know, this is um, something that we'll continue to grapple with. And so the question is, um, you know, this is very one very specific area, but of course, semiconductors are at the core of many of the computers and electronics that we use in our daily basis, and certainly in supply chain planning and execution. Um, so I'm very curious to understand if any of, uh, you know, my colleagues out there are thinking about some of these challenges and how we might address them. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.